problem is that one must believe in the existence of the person in order to recognize the authenticity of her suffering. Neither men nor women believe in the existence of women as significant beings. It is impossible to remember as real the suffering of someone who has no legitimate claim to dignity or freedom, someone who is viewed as some thing, an object, or an absence. Andrea Dworkin For the past few weeks, I have been binge-watching the YouTube channel called Soft White Underbelly, which is an ultra-sad display of people in our society who we have let fall through the cracks, who we have failed spectacularly. It's a channel on which the homeless, drug addicts, and prostitutes tell their personal histories, and I would recommend looking at it if you are interested. I suppose it's because I've been watching that channel, which deals repeatedly with the subject of prostitution, that I had a video show up in my recommendations called The Beautiful Ladies of South Central Los Angeles, Figueroa Street, Vlog 33. And from this video, I discovered that there is an entire subgenre of videos on YouTube that consist of disgusting men driving around the worst parts of certain cities and filming prostitutes standing out on the street. These videos are mostly very low effort. They're literally a man driving around, filming through his windshield, and every minute or two, a scantily clad woman appears. And yet, despite their low quality, they have thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of views. The volume of viewers is, of course, notable. Men really seem to have an insatiable appetite for objectifying women and treating them like disposable products. Although you would think the normal person's response to such overtly depressing material would be disgust and sorrow, most of the comments tell quite a different story. The commenters actually don't seem to see this as depressing at all. On the contrary, they delight in this exploitation, finding entertainment in women's desperation. They find titillation and eye candy in human anguish and distress. Many of these videos are actually monetized, which means both the individual uploaders and YouTube itself are profiting off the misery and danger in which these women exist. When I mentioned earlier that we fail in our obligation to uplift the quote-unquote lowest members of society, the main reason we do so is because it's predominantly women who need our help. And these women are not seen as members of society worthy of help. They are not seen as people, but instead as semi-inanimate objects for purchase and nothing more. And of anything I've ever seen here on YouTube, this genre of videos is such a perfect representation of that. The women here don't have names. They don't have family trees. They don't have feelings. They don't have dreams. Or at least you wouldn't know that they do because these videos treat them as subhuman. They seem to have about as much value and worth and permanence as a Big Mac or something equivalent. And yes, this critique is of videos on YouTube, and trust me, I am well aware of the fact that these women are prostitutes, they are coerced to do much worse than stand around on the streets being videotaped. And I'm also aware that these YouTube videos are way milder than, say, what you'd find on a pornography website. But to me, that is what makes it so appalling. It's the banality of evil. It's how mundane and boring and unexciting it is to look at what in most cases is a trafficked woman and say, eh, who cares? It's not even that extreme. In most cases, you're looking at what is at best a coerced woman and at worst an enslaved woman. And that fact should render this content shocking. It should be considered extreme and offensive and yet here it is just plainly on YouTube as if it's nothing even monetized. The ideas that a woman exists solely to serve men and that a woman's body is a valid purchase to make in a marketplace and that a woman's body is for a man to use and discard are ideas that should shock us. 
to consider that reality should be as shocking as having ice water poured over your head. And yet we see victims of extreme circumstances right here in plain sight. And we just say, that's how it is. And we look away. It's boring. It's mundane. It's banal. It's taken for granted as normal. And that's the most disgusting thing of all and the most frightening. Hannah Arendt wrote eloquently about the Holocaust and one of her most famous quotes is, the lesson that this long course in human wickedness had taught us is the lesson of the fearsome, word and thought defying banality of evil. To normalize human trafficking, sex slavery, and the purchase of a woman's body is to make dull to make boring the most heinous and egregious violations of human rights and dignity. If someone were to come to your city and set up a slave auction block, people would be outraged and shocked and appalled. And yet that's what's happening here and no one cares. We should be just as afraid of casual, nonchalant attitudes towards human suffering as of the suffering itself.